Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And today we're going to be talking about um, sh shaping and supporting a, a young fruit tree, such as this Eureka lemon tree that I have here to my right um, and in my front yard. If you actually come in a little bit closer, I want to show you some details before we start um, our project here. And if you take a look over here, I've actually got the bark actually covered in this Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And this tree is in the sun from morning until sunset. So with all of that light, it's actually um, and, and drying from overexposure of sun. And, and here's a product, um, Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, um, where you just add water and then apply it. It's basically an organic paint and it's got oils to help repel insects as well as um, preventing rodents from actually gnawing um, and damaging your young trees as well. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to actually um, support it. A product um, that a lot of people talk about is using weights on your fruit trees. Um, and instead of actually buying garden weights to actually bring your tallest apical or your, your, your high shoots that are going up too high, sometimes what they'll do is actually buy weights that they'll then fasten to the trees and help bring the branches down. For example, here you can actually see a branch that's going straight up. And what you'll use sometimes is add, attach a weight and then help bend it down. You don't want to bend it too bad because you can actually end up um, damaging and breaking the branch off. Uh, but a slight bend of anywhere from five degrees to maybe as much as 45 degrees um, may be appropriate to help create the right shape for the tree. Um, what I have here, and this is a cheap alternative, you can get a case of 20 to 30 bottles of water. I got these small bottles and what I did is just attach um, some string that I bought here from Home Depot for three dollars this afternoon and I just basically tied it around a water bottle and added a hook that you use for your Christmas ornaments. Um, so I've attached that here and what I can do is simply add, you know, this hook over here, wrap it around the branch, and that can help, if I actually did it a little bit higher, it would have helped to, to bring the branch down. So if the goal is to bend this branch down, we could do so like so. And the branch would actually start growing to the side rather than going straight up. So this is a concept that could work, but again, this tree being a young tree, um, and one other thing I wanna show you if you actually can zoom in real quick here, this tree is only um, six months old. I bought it as a, uh, in a five gallon container, and if you take a look, it's loaded with blossoms. There's flowers everywhere. There's a couple of young fruit right here, if, if you can see that here, I'm, I'm, I'm tapping on it. Um, a young lemon, there's a couple other ones that are um, hiding behind there, but you can see there's hundreds of blossoms ready to produce fruit, and this is its first year. And the reason it can do so, if you take a look down here, is because it's grafted. Um, this here is actually the rootstock, which uh, provides it with good disease resistance, drought resistance, um, and all of those benefits. And I know it's hard to see because I painted over it, but this was the original rootstock, and then it's grafted. The grafted variety that's going to provide the flavor of the lemons is right here. This top half right here is the union that actually is attached to the rootstock, and then this is the flavor of citrus, and in this case, the Eureka lemon tree that's actually grown on top of that rootstock. So what we're gonna do next, so we discussed using support such as this, but my preferred way, and especially with a younger tree, and this will actually help strengthen and support the tree as it, as it gets established and the trunk gets wider and the branches get stronger, is to actually use stakes. And what I brought here is a couple of wooden stakes I've already put in the ground to save some time. You got a hammer, you're gonna hammer that in the ground, make sure they're secure. And then I've taken some twine, and I've already attached it as well to the stick um, for the sake of time so we can keep going. Um, and I've actually got a container here, I just wanna show you. My lemon tree actually came in a container this size. So here we go. So what we're gonna do is, um, I've got the stake in the ground, I've already got the string attached to the um, to this stake. I'm not tying the knot against the lemon tree because we don't wanna constrict the flow of the water and the juices through the tree. But we're gonna take the string and I'm basically gonna wrap it once over a branch and then pull it down. And the reason we're doing this is to actually open the canopy. This here is gonna allow us to create zones. We're gonna have three zones. You can see there's one main branch here, one branch over here, and a third behind it. So we've got three main branches and we want to go into three separate zones to give the maximum amount of fruit per branch. If they're all crowded and growing in the same zone, the issue is it's gonna, um, it's gonna, it's gonna be able to produce a lot less sugars because the branches are interfering um, with the amount of sunlight that they can um, make and get and produce the sugars that are necessary for the maximum fruit um, development. So we're gonna space it accordingly and then we'll 
cut off the excess string. So here we've bent one branch to my right. We're now going to take care of the left one. Since we're not going to be using this concept, I'm going to remove it, set that down over here. And now we're just going to take the next string and repeat the same process. I'm actually going over a fork, which is a split between branches on, on, the, on this tree. And this branch will also come down and we're going to steer it in this direction and then attach it. Notice that I've added no knots to the actual tree. All of the knots are onto the tree stake. And again, so we're not interfering with the flow of juices going up and down the tree branch. And then we'll cut off the excess string. And then this is it. This third branch here in the center will be fastened um, accordingly. And now we've got branch, this zone of plant growth, that zone of plant growth, and this third, rather than all three competing for the same space for light, um, which will ultimately support all of these fruit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below. Again, this is Charles with Ivory Organics and happy gardening.